Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Hype Train here on Pastiche Skin. Yes, we're taking a look at another Hype Train trailer for The Defenders. The series that's actually going to be leading us into a, a, a cohesive Marvel TV universe, which we've already kind of had teased with the characters appearing back and forth between the other series so far. But this is going to be their first team-up movie, the team-up show with uh, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, uh, Aaron Fizz, Danny Rand, and Matt Murdock. So... What have we got to see? Well, let's take a look. You have interrupted a citywide investigation. So glad they actually are using the same kind of like a come as you are tune that they did to cover with the teaser trailer. And you got my one lead killed. Well, God damn you, Jones. I was trying to help him, but you didn't. Jessica Jones, stop talking. Who the hell are you? My name is Matthew Murdoch. I'm your attorney. Well, that makes sense. Obviously, she's going to be in Congress about this whole thing. You don't trust men who show up out of nowhere. They're going to help her out about things. Hero allow you to live an actual life. Right now, I just want to help people. Hmm. I think there's someone that you need to meet. Hey! Obviously, she's connection between Fist and Cage. Who are you? Who are you? Ow. <laughs> How come you can't be hurt? What's the deal with that fist? Ah. See. I'm the immortal Iron Fist. Uh, that's a bit fucked up. You're on the same side. I know they're going to distrust each other and then they kind of uh, learn to trust. I mean, that's kind of an arc for anything. The smart ass detective. We got a problem? Yes, you are. The righteous ex con. <laughs> Sweet Christmas. And the kid with a glowing fist. Yes, I want you to be. The war for New York is here. Okay. So get your shit together. Are you playing, Weaver? The easier it will be to break you. You look like an idiot. Sure, Scott. Okay, so there's a lot to see in there. Um, I'll just let this last week but play and then I'll rewind it back. Bulletproof. Blind ninja. Whatever it is you are. Classy. <laughs> <laughs> so August 18th, we've got our release date for it. So, uh, let's see. Um, this, in particular, kind of caught my attention because you see Electra walking along behind the defenders in the hallway. So... Again, we're going to continue this long lineage of hallway fights, which uh, seem to be a standard for these movies. If you just put them in a hallway, this one's going to be a nice white hallway, so you can put them through walls, it'll look really cool, smashing through things. But you saw all the members of the Defenders all kind of fighting together. Matt Murdock in the background, uh, Luke kind of just tromping through, Jessica tromping through, Danny having to jump off a wall and knock a guy out. But in the backdrop, you saw Electra walking along with. So with the hand being the main villains of the series, I imagine, because they've been... Set them up, set them up, set them up. They're actually there for that purpose. Uh, I'm curious to know who Sigourney Weaver is playing. As a head of the hand? I'm not too sure. I'm trying to think of who... Who do I know? Who who in the hand from Marvel Comics, anyway, would actually be a recognizable figure to put up as a villain? Now, I know there's more than likely a very specific villain to Jessica Jones or Luke Cage or to Heroes for Hire that they were referencing there, but it's not one that's actually like mainstream enough for me to remember, which is, <laughs> I mean, I, 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 not to do my horn, but I actually know a, a fair bit of comic history, but there's nobody is jumping out at me that's actually presented there so far. Maybe I'm missing the clues from the uh, Iron Fist series, which I haven't finished watching, and the Luke Cage series, which I, pff, I I didn't make it to the end of it. I actually like, those two series, I've just been too busy to actually kind of catch the tail ends of. So maybe I'm missing some, a big link from there. But of course, uh, with the resurrection of Electra shown very early on, this looks like it's going to be um, a hand heavy story. Them kind of pulling themselves together to finally take down a it's to save that part of the city or does it save New York out of anything else? You have interrupted a citywide investigation. This is just one more watch through to see if there's anything else that kind of pulls our attention to this. And you got my one lead kid. No, I'm just trying to think about actually what cops and characters are actually going to work their way into the series that are going to be standards of the Marvel TV universe afterwards. Now I have 
I, I, it's a basic idea, like to put Jessica Jones getting into more trouble, and of course uh, Matt Murdock kind of getting in the stopping them from actually like putting her away. Life right now, I just want to help people. Luke Cage, the hero of Harlem, is actually kind of like uh, it's the idea that he's just there to actually help out, not doing the whole heroes for hire thing. I suppose really yet. You are. <laughs> it's just entertaining to see, just like him messing up. But see with this growing the fist and then punching Luke Cage. Now Luke Cage got put into a fucking coma with a shotgun to the face. The immortal Iron Fist punches through walls. A punch to the jaw from Danny Rand should put him the fuck out, just brain damage wise. Like Danny doesn't use the Iron Fist against people. Like anybody who's like Oh, I suppose like him being superhuman, he could probably take a lot more of a blast. But we saw what happened to his fucking like the ha happened to Luke Cage whenever a shotgun hit him in the face. I'm pretty sure a good solid hit to the jaw from the Iron Fist is going to do as much damage as a shotgun to the face. I'm just saying, like skin is impenetrable, but the brain is fucking jelly on the inside. That's a bit fucked up. But um, yeah, I'll let it away. I mean, it looks like a cool shot. It's all done in slow mo. You're on the same side. And distrust and displeasure with each other, Grant. Of course, we're seeing the Danny's chest tattoo, which I don't think was actually shown. It hasn't been shown so far in the series that I've been watching. Matt Murdock digs out his devil's uniform, which uh, looks cool. Actually, I, I wouldn't mind seeing um, Buzzsaw showing up and actually... <laughs> Buzzsaw is ready! The, um, the guy who built his costume and um, making song for the rest of them. Not too sure about what this is. Let's take an hour. We look at the explosion to see who's getting knocked back or knocked forward, or who's doing the knocking. Okay, it's obviously. Are we getting knocked down? So it's not shot from an angle that we can see who's doing it. Who the fuck is doing the knockdown here? That's Luke in midair. Jessica barely standing. Matt is okay, and Stick is not moving a fucking muscle. Whatever way they shot that was actually designed to not show who was getting knocked over. So yeah, Sigourney Weaver, um, as an old enemy. <laughs> I'm assuming, is this an old enemy of Sticks? Is this an old enemy of Electra's? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's... Sure, it'll be interesting. Together. Yeah, they need to work together. You have, the easier it will be to break you. You look like an idiot. So obviously it's looking like a Yakuza style hand where it's like less ninja, more uh, office people. Worldwide organization and all that kind of thing. So yeah, the defenders. Um, I'm... Um, I'm excited. I'm excited for the Defenders uh, series to come out in August. August 18th is it for the whole thing to drop in our hands. I'll be looking forward to watching it whenever it comes out, but I'm not... I, I just... I want more Jessica Jones, really. That was the only thing that actually out of the four series that we've gotten so far. The two Daredevil... I oh know, five series now, because it'll be two Daredevil, one Jessica Jones, one Luke Cage, one Iron Fist. Out of the five series so far, I've really enjoyed Jessica Jones and Daredevil in its second season, more than its first season. Um, am I right in saying second season? Jesus, I, it feels like it's one of those things where you can't even remember. You can't even think about how many things have actually been part of these Marvel like waves. Is has it been two seasons of Daredevil? Yeah, it has been. Yeah, hasn't it? Yeah, pretty sure. <laughs> so um, yeah, guys, the Defenders. Uh, it's it's coming out soon. It's going to be out in August. I hope you guys enjoyed me poking through that trailer very very quickly. But um, not really much opinions on it other than it's cool to see the characters together. It's good to see them doing a bit of the fight scenes together. I just hope the choreography is a bit more movie and fluid. A bit more like the Daredevil than it was the Iron Fist. And I want to see... Um, I mean, this isn't a small budget production. So it shouldn't feel small budget. 
It should feel gritty, but not small budget, and that's the one thing I'm hoping for. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been my opinions on the Defenders trailer. If you enjoyed me talking about the Defenders trailer, you can, of course, hit the subscribe button that's way up there. It'll actually get you linked on, and you can do follow, saw, search, whatever else you can just by using Passage of Skin. Just Google me. You'll be able to find anything that's actually related to this somewhere along the line, and just make sure to follow the stream that you find there. Of course, you can also hit over here. This is also on YouTube. You can actually hit the uh, things that are floating over my head. Some of them are actually like uh, hype train videos. Other ones are recommended videos for you, and also the most recent one that we've uploaded. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next trailer. Bye.